Before you start the installation of your new Helios summer house, there are a few things you'll need to check first. Make sure that the installation area is clear for assembly. The building will need to be constructed onto a flat level base. We're building this summer house onto our pressure treated timber porter base to protect it from damp and insects. We would always recommend installing on a dry day with a minimum of two people. To erect this summer house you'll need a screwdriver, a drill, a hammer, a tape measure, a ladder and a standing knife or cutting tool. Start by removing the transportation blocks from each of the panels with a few taps from the hammer. Place the floor panels down onto your prepared base and make sure that the bearers are flush with the supports. Screw diagonally through the joist to secure the panels to the floor. It's best to lay out the doors first so that you can make sure that the hinges are level. Line the hinges up at equal distances at the top and bottom of the doors. Pre-drill all screw holes throughout this installation to prevent the wood from splitting. Fix the hinges at the top, middle and bottom with 30mm screws. We'll install the locks later once the doors are up on the building. Start the main body of the installation with one of the rear panels and one of the sides to form an L-shaped join. Press the framing firmly together and secure them with screws at the top, middle and bottom. Adjoin the two back panels through the framework before moving on to the other side panel. Repeat the corner framing in the same way as the first, securing with screws at the top, middle and bottom. The next step is to work on the front. With the doors fitted, move the panel into position. This is secured in the same way as the other panels. Now all the walls are in place, secure the internal framing down to the floor to prevent any movement. Repeat this at equal intervals around the entire building. Now that the front gable is secured, you can now secure the lock and door handles. Slot the lock into the pre-cut lock hole and secure with screws into the door frame. Slide the handlebar through the lock and slot one of the door handles over the end. Secure the handle with screws in each corner. Repeat this for the other handle. Affix the door catch onto the slave door over the pre-cut hole using screws. Fix the door bar on the inside of the slave door using 60mm screws. Fit the door beading strips to the inside of the door frame, making sure that they sit flush with the frame and the door. Attach the tower bolts to the door bar using 30mm screws. This next section focuses on the roof and felting. Secure L brackets onto each end of the roof support bars. Align the support bars with the upright framing on each window gable and secure in place with screws. Slide one of the roof panels onto the roof support bars Flush with the roof edge and repeat for the second panel. Make sure that there is an equal overhang at the front and back. Inside, fix the roof panel framing to the roof support bar to secure in place. Secure the panels themselves through the board and into the framing below along each edge and repeat for the second panel. Position the roof ends onto the roof at either side. Make sure that the tongue and groove boards sit flush together before securing down to the gable framing. With the roof on, we can now attach the felt. Roll out the felt and cut into three strips, 260cm long. Use a standing knife or cutting tool to cut the felt for a nice clean finish. Roll the felt strips across the summer house from side to side, starting at the back and working forward, leaving a 50mm overhang on all sides, and secure in place with tacks at 100mm intervals. Repeat this for all three strips. Sandwich the felt in place using two wooden strips and secure with screws. Next you will need to fix the fascias to the front of the sum house using 40mm screws. Fit the finials over the join between the two fascias, making sure to pre-drill the hole to prevent splitting. Attach the rain guards above all of the windows using 50mm screws. Fix the cover trims at the corners of the building and at the back of the summer house where the two panels meet. A turn button should be installed on the top and bottom of the slave door. Now that your summer house is installed, you'll want to treat it with a high quality timber preservative to help keep it protected throughout the year. Once you have done this, score around the edge of the window framing with a sharp knife on both the inside and outside of the window glazing. You should then be able to peel the protective plastic off the window. For more installations please check out the other videos on our channel 